What's going on guys? My name is Elden Hero and welcome to a little preview for a season 2 of 13 Reasons Why, a show that I reviewed last year which broke my YouTube channel forever. So Netflix have released the first teaser for season two, which is coming to the platform on May 18th. So that's just two and a half weeks away from now. I honestly thought that it was gonna be a longer wait than that, so that's pretty cool. I'm not gonna do a full trailer breakdown type video because I'm definitely not the person to be looking through each individual frame of a trailer to spot things, but we can take a look at what little things were revealed in it. So there's no actual footage from the upcoming season. Uh, and in that vein, it's not necessarily a trailer. This is more of a teaser, and that's why I'm going to call it a teaser. And it's a pretty well done teaser, too. It's very slick, and there's a Depeche Mode track that suits it really well. It definitely gets you hyped for what's about to come. So it starts out with Tony and Ryan. Tony getting out of his car with his cassette player in hand, and a Polaroid picture flashes across his face, showing him with a black eye. I don't really want to speculate about why Tony and Ryan are in the car together, because I don't think that they had an exactly amicable end to their relationship as far as I recall but the black eye obviously means that Tony is a target or that he is in danger now the tagline provided from Netflix for season two says season two picks up in the aftermath of Hannah's death and the start of our characters complicated journeys towards healing and recovery Liberty High prepares to go on trial but someone will stop at nothing to keep the truth surrounding Hannah's death concealed a series of ominous Polaroids lead Clay and his classmates to uncover a sickening secret and a conspiracy to cover it up. I'm just assuming that Tony's black eye is a reference to that someone stopping at nothing to keep this conspiracy in play. Um, so that's probably what that is. Next up is Jessica, who in one instance is happy posing for a selfie, but the flashing Polaroids reveal first her covering herself up, maybe to protect herself. The second Polaroid shows a tear in her eye, and the next picture is a note warning her to keep her fucking mouth shut. There was also a Polaroid with a red writing uh, that flashed up first, calling her a liar. And this, again, is alluding to the person who will stop at nothing to keep the cover-up going on. But I think it's interesting that they use the word liar, because I remember... Her story and Hannah's story in season one weren't exactly consistent with one another, and I thought that, that was a pretty interesting element to the storytelling uh, that never really got resolved. So I'm looking forward to seeing what happens there. The next screen is the worst guidance counselor in the world, and it looks as though he's looking into Bryce because he has a, a file in his um, drawer with Bryce's face on it. And then it flicks to Bryce himself and it appears as though he's about to drug another young lady at one of his house parties so his position as the lead scum lord is still solidified for season two we also see Hannah's mother slowly piecing things together for herself the little images on the screen seem to reveal that they're selling their house and also she has a new haircut which traditionally means that the grieving process is over and the the revenge process has begun so I expect a more resolute resourceful and focused ass-kicking performance from her in the upcoming season and then we have clay who is preparing for his court appearance and as the swarm of polaroids surrounding him slowly disappear we're left with one in his room and it's an image of hannah and the words the tapes were just the beginning are written on the back of this polaroid so it's a pretty interesting trailer overall it shows that their shift from cassette tapes into another uh, old style of um of uh, expression is in fact going to be Polaroid pictures. A lot of people think that that means that Tyler is involved because he's always gone around with a camera, but I actually don't think that's the case. I, I don't really understand how Polaroids are going to work, right? Because Polaroid cameras have a flash on them. They're also immediately developed, not like the ones that Tyler develops. And as far as I know, you can't zoom on a Polaroid. Like this is a very old type of camera where you just go up to someone's face and you take a picture. It's very hard to take a picture of someone with a Polaroid camera and for them to not know that they're being photographed. So I don't think it's going to be quite like the Tyler thing from season one. Um, I think it's going to be something a little bit different and uh, something that we're not exactly fully aware of yet. Uh, interesting things in the teaser too, there's no sign of Alex or Justin, so the cliffhanger is still fully in play. It's definitely not answered here. Um, I, I guess the same applies to Tyler. We don't really know what's going on there. We don't know who's sending the Polaroid pictures. We don't know who will stop at nothing to keep the truth from being revealed. Um, as far as I know, there was no sign of Zach either. I don't really know if that actually necessarily means anything though. Um, but overall, like a, a pretty slick teaser, uh, like a, a pretty nice little thing to, to get you hyped for the new series that's coming out in two and a half weeks. I hope they release it all in the one go. I know that sometimes on Netflix, they do that thing where they... Um, 
bring out a new episode next week and stuff like that but uh i'll definitely be watching i'll definitely be reviewing and i hope that you guys will um you know tune in and, and listen to me do that because uh season one was a real blast and obviously it was very good for my channel as well so hopefully season two uh keeps going in that regard and uh yeah i'm really looking forward to doing it and um, what do you guys think of season two like are you guys looking forward to it do you guys think that it doesn't necessarily need a season two um, one thing that I do think is that if Hannah is the one that's in control of all of this Polaroid nonsense, then I think it's like damaging her legacy somewhat. Uh, if it's going to reveal that there was yet another layer to her um, outrageous sort of um, pact that she made with herself to haunt people from beyond the dead. But anyway, we'll see as we delve into season two. Uh, oftentimes, teaser trailers leave a lot of things that are really just there for you to talk about. Uh, I think the most recent uh, Avengers Infinity War trailer, when compared with the movie, kind of shows you that. Uh, but anyway, I've been Elden Nero. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys will tune in for season two, and I'll talk to you then. Bye-bye.